Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to a little bit of a tutorial for the brand new PS4 game House Flipper. Now I thought I would go through some key stages of buying and flipping your first house. Now it doesn't really matter which house you buy, you kind of follow the same routine for each. Uh, but I paid 35000 for this house, it's the third house I have flipped. Um, and we'll just start with a little tour of the house first before we go through what you need to be doing first. So this is the general condition of most houses that you buy. They're usually a mess. Sometimes there's burn damage uh, or infestations, things like that. So you just go and have a look around your house, have a little nosy about. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of trash, a lot of rubbish. There's some walls that are going to need plastering here. Um... Let's have a look in this next one. Okay, so this is the kitchen area. As you can see, a terrible mess. It's got a double door here, which it doesn't really need, which we will probably sort out later. Um, so you can see there, kitchen, and there's some nasties in the corner there. I've seen some cockroaches, so we're going to have to deal with them. That leads to the back. So it might look a little bit intimidating when you buy your first house. It might look like you've got an awful lot to do, but you've got to remember another wall needs plaster in there that you're buying this to sell not for yourself you can keep them for yourself and move your office here this is the bathroom as you can see very messy there's a couple of things we might be able to keep there another wall needs plaster in there um, but generally speaking the houses that you're buying you're flipping so you don't need to fill them with every little piece of furniture but if you do and um, the price will go up but generally speaking you'll still make a profit pretty much um, even if you just kind of do the bare bones and tidy it all up and paint everything and plaster etc. So that's the start. It's, it's, a, it's in a pretty untidy state as you can tell. So let's start getting rid of the rubbish first. Here we go. Rubbish gone. Rubbish. So dead easy to get rid of the rubbish. Just get rid of it like that. Now doors as well you're going to want to probably get rid of because they're usually in a terrible state so we'll do that shortly. We'll get rid of this rubbish first. It starts looking a bit tidier. On the left hand side there you can see potential buyers giving you hints and tips as to what they might like to see in a house before they buy it all that kind of stuff. So there's some pieces of furniture you might want to get rid of but I'm going to remove them. So you go to the sell option and you just sell them you'll get some money for them depending on what they are um, get rid of this get rid of this and you can even remove them by using the sell option as well you know the rubbish in the room so we're going to get rid of this door remove it sell it there we go you see it leaves a gaping gap there and let's get rid of this as well most of the lights don't work in the house so as you can see we've cleared this out let's get rid of this rubbish rubbish uh, should we get rid of this it doesn't look like it's going to clean up nice get rid of that door get rid of the rubbish there we go more rubbish up there Uh, get rid of this light. So you're kind of stripping back all the rooms. Yeah, sell it. Oh, did it wrong. There we go. Get rid of the light. You're stripping back all the rooms. That looks actually okay to keep once it's cleaned. Um, let's give it. Let's give this a clean. See what cleans up. As you can see, the bath isn't cleaning up, so that's not going to be repairable. So we need to get rid of that. But those are fine. The toilet and the basin are fine. Let's clean these up. Now when you've upgraded a bit, cleaning doesn't become as much of a chore because you clean bigger areas. And as you can see on the mini map, all the little black splodges on the map shows you where the dirt is. Um, and you can unlock that upgrade fairly quickly as well. It makes it a little bit easier. So let's get rid of this bath. And we'll be able to plumb another one in there, which I'll show you in a later video. As I will show you how to plaster walls and things in a later video, it's very, very easy. Okay, let's have a look. Let's get rid of that mirror. 
There we go, get rid of that. Gone. Get rid of that. Gone. Let's get rid of this door. And that door. And we can build a bit of a wall and just make it a one door. It doesn't need double doors that I wouldn't suggest. So we will we'll I'll show you how to do that later as well. So let's just show I don't think that's gonna clean up. No. The fridge isn't cleaning up, so we need to get rid of that. Get rid of that. In fact, most of this stuff in this kitchen area is not going to clean up. Um, and you might want to like put fresh furniture and things in there as well. So just just keep clearing out the rooms. Get rid of all the rubbish first, and then you could decide what furniture you might want to keep and what you're probably likely not going to keep. I'll show you how to get rid of these cockroaches very shortly. Right, let's get rid of all this table now so we can get rid of these cockroaches then. There we go. So let's just... It's a bit of a pain, you have to sell the cups and the cutlery one at a time. There's probably an upgrade later on for you to be able to sell more than one. Right, let's get the vacuum out. So you just press X when you asked to do that when you're around the infestations of the cockroaches. And basically all you do is you keep vacuuming them up until you get a message in the top right that tells you you've killed the nest and you've killed enough cockroaches and they're not going to breed anymore so just keep vacuuming them up and you'll notice soon the message comes up on the top left hand side and it, oh there we go you destroyed the cockroaches nest so that's it. You might still have a couple of stragglers lying around. If you don't want them, they will die off, but you can just fuck it up, get rid of it. There you go. Get rid of the rest of these. There we go. Right. So you can determine what you're going to get rid of. I just basically clear them all out because I'm going to put new in, most, in, for the most part, anyway. You'll get a better price for the house if you're putting fresh stuff in. Just keep it going, get rid of everything. Uh, it does bug me that you can only do plates and cups one at a time. But, you know, there are worse things, I guess. Right, get rid of that. Get rid of these. I'm just going to clear it all out. I find it easier because you're going to carpet or tile or put flooring down. And even though you can do that with furniture there, I just like a fresh start, me in the houses and the rooms. And as you can see, my balance, I've got a pretty healthy amount. And I'm still going to make a profit on this house. And I know you want to maximise your profit as much as possible. Right, let's start cleaning. Oh, hang on a minute get rid of that see you later let's go on with the cleaning again so don't forget in the minimap you see all them little dark splodges on the minimap that tells you where the bits of dirt are that you need to get rid of it does help you locate them a little bit easier the only problem with getting rid of the lights is if you don't install new ones quickly if, you, if you're working on the house into uh, the night time it becomes more difficult to see because it's kind of real time is this game um, and it will get dark eventually right so let's carry on in here so as you can see there I'm looking at the mini map finding all the dirt, bits of splodges of dirt it's giving me pointing me in the right direction giving everything a clean can be sometimes time consuming depending on the size of the house but I actually find it quite therapeutic personally don't mind it so much there we go so the map has told us that all the um, dirt is gone from this room let's get rid of this door because that isn't going to be usable right let's get rid of this stuff in here now like I say, if you're keeping the selling uh, tool up, 
it does the same thing as dispose of rubbish it just removes it so you can just keep it on all the time if you want let's get rid of these one two three four um, that that um, this um, okay let's get rid of that and um, there we go let's give it a clean So we are getting to the point where we've shelled out this house and we'll be almost ready to start doing the next stage which is sorting out your walls and your floors. Get rid of this and this door. There we go. Oh I can show I saw a bit of dirt on the floor there. We'll come back I think. Right, so I think we've just got one more room to do. Let's get rid of this door. Yeah. So that's how it's looking. It's actually quite nice on the outside. I'm not going to need to do a lot on the outside. Sometimes you have to repaint them on the outside as well, especially if there's been burn damage. But it doesn't look like we're going to need to do that here. So don't forget, keep looking at the messages on the left hand side. It tells you who's getting more and more interested in the house. The more work you do in there, the more pleasing it becomes to potential buyers. So there we go. I think we've just got one little splodge of dirt left in here. There we go. So we're pretty much done. Um, no, I don't want that, no. It can be a little bit fiddly, the controls. So, that, yep, yeah, these are walls that need plastering, that needs plastering. But we shall do that stuff in a new, in the next video on part two. So, let's have a look. So, as you can see, we've cleared all the house out now. It is ready for stage two. Uh, we've gutted it out, we've cleaned it out, got rid of all the dirt, got rid of all the cockroaches removed any items we don't want to keep in the house and the house is ready for the next stage so i will see you on part two for the video get rid of this dirt thanks for watching everybody if you like this video if you found it useful please like it uh, the video is very very helpful to the channel and i'll see you for part two of house flipper thanks for watching